Homeless Homebrew coming at you with a beer review on a breezy but warm, just beautiful Sunday evening, early evening. Uh, did a little bit of work around the house in the morning and then took a lazy day with Clua Bar this afternoon. Ah, oh, what a great day. And I'm just, I'm very relaxed. And now we're going to do a beer review. So it just gets better, right? <laughs> Here we go. We're going fairly local. We're in Oregon. This is from Redmond, Oregon, just uh, just north of Bend. It is the Brain Bucket Imperial IPA bourbon barrel aged version. That's right. And it's from Wild Ride Brewing out of Redmond, as I said. Wild Ride has made some wonderful beers. I've enjoyed their stuff. Uh, I've heard good things about the Brain Bucket, but bourbon barrel aged? Wait, no, it gets better. It's aged three to four months in rye whiskey barrels. So you got the rye on there too. Uh, the rye whiskey barrels come from Indio Spirits uh, out of Portland, Oregon. So all some great local stuff. Let's get it cracked open. All right, here we go. Man, some nice bubbles were rising up. We got a good finger head on there for, this is by the way, a 9.8% beer. That's right. It, that's what it clocks in at, the ABV. Um, and it, it has some good bubbles rising up. The head's kind of fading fairly quickly. It's a little bigger. But look at the color. You know, it's kind of a deeper color. It makes me think of a barley wine and kind of the color that it has here. So you know there's some good caramel malts on that. Hopefully the wind's not so much that you can't hear me. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get the nose. Oh, I was right about the caramel malts. Let me tell you, the first things I'm pulling off of this is I got some of the oak and the bourbon, you know, whiskey bourbon on there, but I got some beautiful vanilla and caramel. I mean, boom, right off the top is just in your face, beautiful. All right, let's see what else we can get. Oh, man. Okay, so the, the caramel and the vanilla, the whiskey, you know, the oak character, that's, that's the top. That's right off the top. That's there, but... I got maybe a hint of some orange from the hops, something like that, but it has these beautiful dark fruits. I mean, the sweet caramel with these dark fruits, I'm pulling off raisin, I'm pulling off some date sugar on it. It just smells wonderful. The scent is, oh, it's hard to say. It's it's not smelling like a double IPA with all that. It not It's not an imperial IPA. It's kind of like, more like a, strong ale or barley wine kind of scent but it smells so good we're gonna jump in cheers oh what a nice reward <laughs> all right it 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 has a little bit of that oak and some oak uh tannin on it just a little bit not a lot but it's there and it kind of hits you in the middle of the palate and it sticks with you on the back side but you also immediately get the uh, vanilla and that caramel you don't get tons of the whiskey it's there though oh that's nice uh, I don't get tons of the hop character I would say um, it's overridden by the rest of it um, I get a little bit of of the uh, uh, hops in the bitterness on the back side kind of balanced with the tannins so they did a nice job with that. Because of the barrel aging time that they had to take, you know, the three to four months in the barrel, then by the time you have bottling and its distribution, some of those hop characters have gone into earthy side. Some of them have gone into like an herbal character. Some of them are more like fall colors and kelp character. Um, so you're not gonna get the bright hops. And I've always said that, I don't know how you really get bright hops unless you're using some kind of a resin or something to, to make the beer when you're barrel aging. But nonetheless, it works because then you get that earthy quality from the hops blending in with the earthy oak quality. And, and then you've got all that rich caramel and stuff. So fun beer for sure. I'm going to take a little time with this and I'll be back. All right. So I, I'm just sitting here enjoying this. I'm very relaxed. <laughs> This, this is a beautiful little beer. Um, there's not a lot more to add, to be honest. There's not super levels of depth per se or anything. The hop character is not there. Maybe if you got it fresh, fresh when it was first bottled, you might get some more of the hop character. As I said, it's gone a little more earthy herbal, but 
but the the barrel character and the caramel characters the vanilla man just like i said before that's all beautiful it reminds me very much of rhino red rhino i think it was a barrel aged red rhino that wild ride made uh, reviewed maybe a year ago and a dog on that beer it's very very much like that i would i would almost guess take out some of the the red malts and uh, what they did was almost the same thing would be my guess i don't know about hoppage and and barrel character wise it's very much in the same category it's got this beautiful big caramel vanilla etc as did uh, the red rhino is it really an imperial ipa well i'm sure the ingredients are there kind of but yeah no it doesn't really taste like an imperial ipa i don't know if i particularly want to rate this imperial ipa i mean if i had to rate it as an imperial ipa it'd be a very good beer it wouldn't rank high because it if, if you're a hop head and you're looking for hops you're, you're just not getting it you'd have to go to a low b and it would be redeeming itself with all the other things you'd probably get an 82 which is what I would do. Uh, but in terms of other styles, this is semi like an American barley wine, I think. It falls more towards that carrot category, but then it would have to be hopped up more. So even as an American barley wine, it wouldn't get like a killer rating. It'd probably get an 85. This to me is more of a strong ale. So we'll just jump past all that. Let's just go to overall, because overall, I really dig on the beer. It's it's so tasty, um, and it reminds me of my barley wines that I like, you know, my wheelhouse. It reminds me of those Imperial IPAs to a degree, um, but I love Big Caramel. I'm a Big Caramel fan, and, uh, <laughs> and I love barrel-aged things. I think the tannins are slightly high on this particular one. It's got too much oaky character for me personally. I'd love to have more of the rye whiskey flavors on it. It reminds me of some things that have been aged that are much older than this. This is a 2017 version. Um, I don't know. I'm going 92 overall. I, I just, I like this style. I really do. But then when you have those flavors that I, I love like that, of course, I'm going to rate it pretty high. Here it is again. It's Brain Bucket Imperial IPA. It's a bourbon barrel aged beer from Wild Ride Brewing out of Redmond, Oregon. Now, again, this is, if you like something that's kind of like buttery caramel, oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what this is. It's just got this beautiful buttery caramel. If you like that, you'll dig on it. It's time for me to go watch some dragons, if you know what I mean. This is Kevin Clemens Hobart saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer, and I'll see you on the next beer review.